hello welcome back to my channel so in this video I am going to show you how you can find the latest file from the folder or how you can get the latest file from the folder now for that if you see I have created some pointers where first I am going to read a directory then read all files from directory and at the last I am going to print the latest file name now for that let me go to my project and so this is my folder get latest file from folder now it have one two three files are there I want the latest file the latest file with the date and stamp if you see here the latest one is 629-2020 the time is 12 2 p.m. So what should cook this file <coughs> whose name is investor matrix one now for that what you have to do is you have to create one variable name as folder path a type is string in the folder path I have passed the folder name so my folder name is this where it is taking me to the get latest file from folder now in this folder I have three files right so I'm just putting a folder path in the folder path variable now after that I'm going to give a file name basically so I know the file name basically starts from I want a file so there are let's assume there are there are some more files with a test name and with the name my input but what I want I want that if there are a number of files present in the folders but I want the bot to search a specific file name so if you see here I want to I want a bot to search investor matrix files only so here the investor matrix files are three if you can you can see here there are three investor matrix file from three investor matrix file the bot should pick the the latest file basically the latest is 629 2020 and time is 12 2 pm so what i have done here in the file name i have given the investor matrix and then star because if you see this name is static but this is actually changing one two three there can be anything here maybe in your case it can be a, uh, a date and the time appending to this file name so here if you see the static static name is investor matrix and the and the, it's dynamically the numbers getting changed so that's why I have used investor matrix then asterisk so whatever whatever the value the dynamic value coming after investor matrix the bot will going to ignore that it will only see okay I want to see only the investor matrix file name basically after that once the once the folder path and file name is stored in the variables what you have to do is you have to create one get directory info variables a get directory info variable type is directory info and directory info you will find in system.io.directory info similar way you have to go to browse for files and here you have to search directory info now direct info if you see it is coming in system.io now once you created this get directory info to the right you have to define it as a new directory info and you have to pass the folder path the folder path which is coming from the from here basically from. after that what you have to do you have to use one more assign activity and you have to create get all file info variable get all file info variable and the variable type is basically a file info array of file info now how to create an array of file info you have to click on so you have to click on 
array of t and then you have to go to browse of browser of all types file you have to write down here the file info select system.io file info when you select this after selecting this it will look like this file info with the brackets now after this you have to assign something to it right so what I have done here is I have used the direct get directory info that dot get files and the bracket file name now get directory info have all the information right what are the files and what are the folder inside it all the info now so that's why what I have done here I have passed the get get directory info dot get files in the bracket file name so what it will do it will going to retrieve all the files from this directory all the files from the directory from this direct this directory is this the is this uh, this is the one get latest file from folder this directory from this directory it will pick all the files which have investor matrix name in it after that what you have to do once we have all the files in get all file info array that means we have right now if you see here there are three files so we have three files three count in this array after that okay, let me put the right line also here to just check the count dot count So I have put one right line just to check uh, the, what is the count of the files. Now if you come below we have all the files but I want the latest file right the latest file. For that what I have done to the left I have used get all file info same variable because I am going to change the order basically I will make it in a descending order so that the latest file will come on the first position so for that I have written the link queue query now you have you have to write it in the way like from file as file info I have created a one alias file which whose type is file info in get all file info this is clear right because we have all the files in this particular object then you have to write order by file dot last modified it in descending order now file is coming from here as we have created here now the file dot last modified it descending what it will do it will change the order of files in a descending order now whichever the file is latest it will come above in the end I have write dot to array because I want to convert this to array because I am storing it into the array variable get all file info is array basically now array after this it is stored in array then I am just printing the first file basically if you see get all file info in the bracket 0 that that means on the uh, in the array uh, basically on the index 0 the file will be present and the file all this will always be the latest file right because if there are uh, 0 1 2 index on and when I have made it into the descending order that means on the first index there will be the latest file so that's why I'm retrieving with an index so on the 0 index I am getting the file the latest file hope this is clear so when I, I run this program let me run it what I see, I will see that investor matrix 1 xlsx is printed and count is also printed and there are 3 files. Now what I will do, I will create one more investor matrix file. Let me give the number 4. Let me change here something 
so that so that the last modified date will be changed. Now, if you see the last modified date is changed, and it is 6:30/2020. The time is 3:29 p.m. Let me run the program. Now, if you see the output, now it is picking investor matrix four. So this is how you can pick the latest file. Now there are many ways to do it, and if you have an uh, other approach to do it, just please comment on my video. And thanks for watching it. Have a great day.